Hey everybody, it's Nathan Lucas here from NathanDLucas.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I made an ebook cover at a very low cost and how to do it pretty easily uh, using Canva and then using ebook, uh, an ebook cover creator. So this is the book that I just made online and I'm going to step you through exactly how I made this. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to canva.com, C-A-N-V-A, -A, Canva. And what you're going to do is they have all of these templates listed across the top. And what I did is if you click on more and you come down to the blogging and ebooks area, there's one to the side that actually says ebook. You're going to click on the ebook and then it's going to pop this page up here. So uh, if you haven't ever been to Canva before, as you could see on that last page, there's a lot of different things that you can do as far as creating uh, different designs for social media. As you can see, they have Facebook, uh, Instagram, Pinterest, blogging stuff, even documents. So all we're doing is we're focusing uh, just on the ebook. So as you can see, you can load a bunch of different stuff in here. You can even search images they have, shapes, icons, a lot of different cool stuff uh, that they have built in uh, right into this website that it's all for free. So all I did here was let me just get rid of this or I'll just show you this here all this is is a background so if you actually when once you first open this up just click on the white or click background over here and all you're gonna do is select your color so for this example I chose black and then I added a text so all I did was name it my awesome ebook and then you can add whatever else you want here um, for this bottom portion all I did was come over here to search I did a shape and then all I did was insert one of these shapes and it comes up like this but you can resize it just like this and that's exactly how I put the top portion up here and then if you click on that I just copy it and it makes a copy and then you can drag it to the bottom and then what this does now you can see is it's proportionate the top and the bottom are symmetrical and it looks the same and you can put anything you want in here and really essentially this is how I made uh, my ebook right here this is how I designed it and then of course you can go through shapes or whatever you want to put something at the top and then the bottom you can actually upload your own images so if you take a look at my book the top I did this little blurb there and then at the bottom I did the same thing so I just did a colored strand and then uploaded an image of myself and that's exactly how I did it right here through uh, Canva once you're done you can actually download it and I believe I saved this as a JPEG for the web uh, you can also save it as a PNG just so you know um, so once you do that what I did was I downloaded it to my computer and then we're gonna come over to a website called myecovermaker.com and what I chose to do is uh, they have subscriptions I did not do a subscription and all that means is when you create an account with them and you create your ebook cover you can pay a one-time fee of each time you make an ebook cover of $4.95 and that's what I, I chose to do and I went that route so here's exactly how I did it is you create your cover click here and then you'll have to create your account after this is finalized I chose uh, the paperback number two click create this cover and then just for starters all I did was select a background that is just a, a standard template and it doesn't matter right now now and I'll show you why so I select and continue now this is where you see the spine here and right now it's just a blank um, with blank book cover with this background on it so all we want to do now is we want to upload the image that we just created through Canva so click on upload images and then this is where you're gonna go and upload your image as you can see I already did this so once you upload the image it'll pop up right here click on that image and now it pop pops in here and we're gonna actually stretch this out the length of the front of the book all the way until the spine right here we're not actually gonna take up the spine so I just did that I'll leave a little bit at the top so I can come back and adjust you'll see why in a minute 
bring the bottom all the way down and then come back up to the top and the reason that I'm doing this now and I did it that way is because see now I can't grab the corners because I tucked it away and for some reason it does that um, but there is an undo button if you ever make a mistake on this ebook uh, cover maker just so you know you can come in here and design your template I just choose to use Canva because I've used Canva before and it's pretty user friendly and uh, it really worked out well for me so that's why I did it this way it seems to work out easy alright so now for the spine we need to get this pretty much as close as we as you can to this color or whatever color you want uh, a little trick with this because these books are three-dimensional if you go a little bit darker it is actually easier so now all we do because remember this is the background is you're gonna click uh, click on background here at the top and we're gonna do custom color now what I think you can do as well is if you want to upload your own you can come right back and upload this and that'll go to the side I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna do a uh, custom color but feel free to play around with that uh, if you'd like custom color and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this dark and then you'll see what this is going to do. It's pretty simple. You click on create. Once it's over here, click on it. It's selecting the area. Continue. And see, so now it's dark. And that's the spine. So now all I want to do is add text on the spine. And all we do right there is we hit insert text. And I'm just going to say awesome ebook. And I want to make it white, so I'll select my color, make it white, load that in there. Here it is. All right, it's obviously a little bit big. If you want this to stay proportionate, you're going to hold shift and then drag. Um, because I'm using it on the spine, I'm not going to hold shift, and then you can see I can actually change the size like that. And once we get it, that looks pretty good to me. Up at the top, this is where you can actually rotate it 90 degrees to make it go on the spine. Once it's at 90, we'll spin that over to the side, try and make it centered. There we go. All right, that looks pretty centered to me. And then we hit finalize. And then we can take a look uh, visually how it looks before you actually make your purchase to make sure everything looks good and it's how you want it. All right, so here's what it looks like. You can see the spine worked, and as you can see, that's why I like doing just a little bit darker. Uh, that's just an easy way. Um, I just did this real quick, guys, just to show you exactly how I made my book. Uh, again, that's Canva, how you I actually designed it, and then it's uh, myecovermaker.com, and once you purchase this, it's $4.95, and you can download it in multiple different sizes. Uh, so I recommend doing that. You can also download it uh, both in transparent and then normal. So I would recommend downloading both because you never know what you're going to need uh, for your project with your book. And that's exactly how I made this book right here. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. Uh, I'll see you on the next video. Take care.